nature is a very important ingredient in my work because it has an universal appeal. All my public sculpture groups are in their appearance very simple, so people, the public, has an easy access. In 2013, I was invited to do a project at the Rockefeller Center. So there I wanted to bring in something basic like stone and by stacking them, creating a simple figuration of a human figure. And that was the first standing figure and it was called Human Nature. As a reaction came the mountains. It's a common practice for me that the works accelerated by duality. So after the human nature in New York, because I was working with stone, I decided to keep the material, but doing it in a contrary way, to kill the materiality of stone by covering it with very aggressive day glow color. You don't know exactly what kind of material it is. It looks artificial, and it could be plastic or styrofoam, but not necessarily stone. This brings me to the Miami mountain. When I visited last year the first time, the square, I saw that it lacks of color, and I thought it was a good fit to bring colors in into this square. The rainbow colors is for me a holistic system because it includes all the colors. And what Miami has as a force is the sun, and day glow colors are feeded by the sun. There is an afterglow, even if the sun goes down, they are still radiating. The boulders were quarried in Nevada. The first blue stone on the Miami mountain is the biggest stone that can be transported from Nevada to Miami. To stack them together, it's held by a steel core in the middle, but it's secured by itself, by the weight of itself, that creates by itself. I don't want to impose a public work, that's why I'm using very childlike symbols, from masks to trees to rainbows to mountains, because the public sculpture is, for the most part of the public, the first time they encounter art. So it's for me important that it becomes a non-verbal encounter, by placing something that they are just drawn in or attracted to and maybe opens the door also for this public to go for the first time to the museum. I always say you don't have to understand an artwork, you have just to feel it. Meaning, once you expose yourself, there is a reaction. Just but your willingness to expose yourself to the artwork or to the poem is, is the deal. <laughs>